In the fall of 1901, the 24-year-old son of Iowa farmers emerged from the wheat fields where he'd spent his entire life working. Propelled by a thirst for knowledge and an incomparable work ethic, he learned to master the discipline of structural engineering. He wrote textbooks on the subject and became a college professor, advancing the discipline by educating those who would follow in his footsteps. But during the Great War, Neil Garver felt the pull of something bigger. He felt a sense of duty to the country he loved. Sound infrastructure played a vital role in the war effort. Manufacturing plants sprung up all across the country, and America entrusted Garver to oversee the construction of such a plant in Little Rock, Arkansas. The war ended, but America's need for sound infrastructure did not, nor did Garver's desire to advance the profession of engineering. In 1919, when Neil Garver founded his own private consulting firm, he could never have known the impact that firm would have, not just on his life and during his lifetime, but in the lives of all those who would work under the Garver flag in the next century, and certainly in the communities where Garver designs have been brought to life. The city streets, the water towers, the airport runways and terminals and parking decks, the water treatment plants, the wastewater treatment plants and the pump stations, the miles and miles and miles of pipes, the green spaces, the trails, the bridges, the buildings, the highways, the necessities of life that help communities thrive, that keep our loved ones safe, that ensure our planet's resources will be here for our children and our children's children to enjoy. Everything in our history has been about looking toward the future. The relationships we have with our clients are built to last longer than a single project, longer than the lifespan of the infrastructure we design. And so we must depend upon the next generation of professionals to pick up the torch where the previous left off. We must invest now in the people who will be willing to invest in our communities by investing in the infrastructure projects we are and will be trusted with. We've seen technology advance at an unfathomable pace in the time since Neil Garver walked out of the farm fields to take his first engineering class. But no matter the technological advancements, the driving force of our industry and the innovative genius behind each and every one of our accomplishments has always been our people. Professionals who understand the tenets of client service, of giving back, and of being a part of something bigger than themselves. We like to think Mr. Garver would be proud of who his company is today and everything we've accomplished in the last 100 years. But we also know he wouldn't want us to dwell on the past for too long. The future is already starting to take shape, and Garver's ready to draft the plans.